Hi guys, welcome back to Irish Footy Vlogs and welcome back to another European match review video and this time it was Vitesse 2, Dundalk 2. Um, just an amazing game of football guys, This uh, a lot of emotions in it. I can imagine if you're a Dundalk fan what you would have thought but um, how do I go through this? First of all, I will say it's a fantastic result for Dundalk um, to bring the tie back to Tallis Stadium next Thursday and have something to really play for. Um, for the first 60 minutes before McElhenney actually scored the equaliser, um, it was all Vitez. He absolutely battered Dundalk. They went in front anyway after 20 minutes through Barrow. And unfortunately, from the, from the Ducks' point of view, it was actually from a corner kick, Dundalk's corner kick. And they completely got exposed, left themselves wide open, and uh, they scored from it. So a couple of minutes later, Vitez had done the same again. They had a chance, a BB saved it from a Dundalk corner. And I just think for the first half in particular, first 45 minutes, obviously Vitez led 1-0. It could have been 3-4, maybe even 5-0 in that first half. Uh, Dundalk were wide open. They weren't compact. Um, they were too high up the pitch. Uh, there was too much of a gap between the midfield and the back line. And as I said, the back line itself wasn't compact. I'm not really sure why, if it was nerves, um, if that... Uh, was the tactical approach or whatever, but nothing was sticking up front with David McMillan either, unfortunately. And Vitez just kept coming and coming and coming and coming in waves. They must have had about 20 shots in that first half. So to go, go in one nil at half time for Dundalk was actually brilliant. But I thought at half time, look, if they can reset now and maybe push back an extra five yards or whatever, just be compact here. First few minutes, second half, Vitez hit the post. Um they hit the post. They had a number of chances, a free header that went wide as well. That was all within the first five minutes or so. I will say McElhenney, though, to be fair to him, had a great effort in the first half. They hit the bar, which was against the run of play, but that was from distance. Um, but he did hit the bar, so just to mention that too. But um, <laughs> Derry City fans in particular must have been pouring if they were watching this because McElhenney's two goals, especially the second goal, vintage McElhenney. Um, Dundalk made a change though. Macmillan came off and Huben came on. And I think that made a big difference. Uh, Huben started to win free kicks. He was a nuisance to the, the Vitez offence all of a sudden. Um, and it's amazing how that change alone made such a big difference. So 60 minutes gone. We're heading up to 60 minutes. Vitez are lead 1 0. Could easily be 5 6 0 up at this point. Let's get it right. And across from the right, I think it was Drakowska, so I'm not too sure, I can't remember. But um, McElhenney, superb header into the far corner. He just used um, the cross, the, the pace and the cross, and played a lovely header into the far corner to give Dundalk uh, the equaliser. And um, incredibly, they were level. Um, <sighs> Dundalk, the game changed after that big time. Vitez suddenly became unsure. They weren't creating the chances. Dundalk obviously got a bit more confidence, had a few little opportunities as well. Sloggan had an opportunity actually before uh, McElhenney scored. It was a weak effort, but it was a chance. Um, but McElhenney's second goal, I mean, that run, the little kind of cut back and then the flick it over the defender and the goalkeeper, what a goal. Um, the balance, the composure, the skill, um, the genius of McElhenney coming out there to the fore. 2-1 Dundalk, and you wouldn't have believed it with 15 minutes to go. Vitez did equalise with a minute to go of normal time. There was five minutes of added time. Openda scored. And to be honest, Sonny Nanasad won't be happy. Um, it was a very disappointing header that he should have got away. Headed up into the air. Lands on Openda's feet. And uh, he makes it 2-2. Which was disappointing. Over the balance of play, you're taking 2-2 all day. It would have been nice if they hung on. But Openda gets sent off 30 seconds later for uh, a kick out on Stanton. Initially, I didn't see it right. And I knew Stanton was booked, and I thought Stanton was going to get a second yellow. But um, when I saw the replay, I penned, obviously kicked out 30 seconds later. Stupidity, really, after equalising as well. Um, and he'll miss the second leg, and he's 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 a key player for them, by the way. So 2-2. Two, two. And just... Um, it's, it's just an incredible week again for Irish football. Like, Shamrock Rovers going to be playing, um, you know, this evening as well. By the time you watch this video... We might know the result there, but for Bohemians to beat Pauk and Dundalk to come back after being battered for about 60 minutes and almost nick a win in Holland in front of a crowd, a way crowd. Fantastic result and brilliant stuff again from League of Ireland. 
uh, teams and um, there's been a lot of talk about it. But again, RTE turn a blind eye and we've had two great results in a week for League of Ireland football. Um, but as I said, it's fantastic now going into the second leg at Tallis Stadium, it's going to say Oriel Park because there's going to be a serious crowd there now. And uh, the Dundalk fans are going to really get behind their team now and hopefully they'll get a bit more confident because it might have been a bit nervy for, for a while, but they're going to be at home as such, as in in front of home crowd, and there won't be a Vitez crowd there. So, um, look, this is going to be an exciting second leg. I was thinking, uh, you know, chance after chance, Vitez was scoring. I was thinking, oh, my God, is this going to be over, more or less, by the time the uh, we get to Tallis Stadium? And there definitely was that there. I mean, big shout out to Abibi as well, um, who made some good saves in the game as well. He's had a lot of criticism, but he made good saves in this game too, to be fair to him. And um, he was really, he was really good. And, um, you know, it was great to see Duffy back. I don't think he was um, fully on it, Duffy, but hopefully by the time the second leg comes around, he'll be ready. Um, the Dock have a game against St. Patrick's Athletic now on Sunday as well, but they're going to have to rest players for that game. They do have the squad to do so, remember, because they have a serious chance to do have a chance of getting through. And I wish the very best of luck to Dundalk now. Uh, I'll be there, Tallis Stadium. I'll be vlogging that match as well. So hopefully we have another famous night in Irish football. But regardless what happens with Bowles and Dundalk, this week has been an excellent week for both sides and for, for League of Ireland football, and um, I give both sets of players, clubs, serious amount of credit. So guys, I'll leave it there. Let me know what you thought of the match, if you've seen the match. Um, do you agree with me? Do you disagree with me? Um, like the video, subscribe if you're new, hit your bell notification button so you don't miss a video, and plenty more of these videos coming out. It's great to see you guys, Irish teams in Europe. So best of luck to Dundalk next week, and see you later, chaps. Good luck.